Well, I'm still working with this um, paperclip motor circuit, which uh, Dad have, uh, John have uh, put forth. It's a two transistor, two resistor, single filer winding coil that you can use in motor circuits. And this is one of my old structures that I resurrected and just put the single filer coil that was on that board on this little tower. And then I have a, a ring magnet that goes around here. And it works quite well. And uh, I was fiddling around with different things. I was using, uh, using Maggie on it to see what she would do. And uh, I found out this thing here will rotate in an axis that's this way. It's completely flipped over like this. I don't know if that's 90 or 100. I guess that would be 90 degrees like that. But it'll rotate this magnet from a distance. And uh, it was a good uh, display of how the magnetic flux lines can go through different objects. So I've got several things here to show what it'll go through. It'll go through water, earth, um, paper products, and even a big rock. Let me start this up and I'll show you how it works. The little radio is so you can hear the firing. And that says this... Uh, magnet fires and spins the uh, magnet around you can hear it firing now first off here's Maggie and what uh, she looks like and that's just pulling energy right off the rotor using Maggie that's my little uh, coil now the next thing that was interesting was I found out this will go into sync with that rotor there flipped over on its side, which I thought was really strange. If you get it at just the right RPM. Okay, there it's going. Now it's going in some sort of a resonance with that magnet. Even though they're different sizes, it's got some kind of a resonance going on. And of course, uh, once you get a spinning magnet, then this thing works. And you can see there's a distance between the, the two items right there. And uh, this is operating um, wirelessly. This is wireless transmission of energy using magnetic flux lines, which I've worked with before. And I've heard very little about anybody doing any more with that. Let me move this out away. I'll show you a ways. I'll show you how far out I can pull this. Right about there and then it stops. Well, let me get this going again. Take Maggie off. And that's about as far out as I can pull it. I'll put the little load back on it here. That's about a foot. That's about a foot away. See my hand here? That's about a foot away from the spinning magnet. I've got this spinning magnet going on. And like I say, it goes right through anything biological. This is what a, a magnetic resonance imaging machine at the hospital can do. They can go through your body with magnetic waves and not hurt you. So then, of course, a glass of water would do nothing to it. It goes right through that. How about a cactus plant? Goes right through a cactus plant, no problem. How about wood? How about paper, like a book? Goes right through a book, like it wasn't even there. And you can hear the RPM of the motor with the radio, so this isn't affecting it at all. Now, the other thing was a big rock. This is a rock out of my garden here. Uh, sandstone, I'm not sure what it is, but it doesn't have any metal in it. If this was uh, aluminum or iron or copper or whatever, it would stop it in a heartbeat. But a sandstone kind of rock doesn't affect it. It goes right through solid rock. So anyway, that was my little experiment for today, was uh, continuing to work with this uh, very, very nice little two-transistor, two-resistor circuit. You get it to run on a AA battery. Spins up a magnet just great.
uh, if you get it all set up. By the way, I'm using ceramic bearings here and you don't expect good performance unless you have good bearings and good magnets. Uh, that's a uh, coil of 30 gauge magnet wire measures 11 ohms. I wish somebody else would uh, start doing some work with this uh, transmission of energy using magnetic flux lines because it'll go right through a lot of things. Very interesting. Thanks for watching.